Hello and welcome. So today is going to be a unique video, I guess. It's more of a fix for those that are playing on emulators. Uh, I'm going to be covering up for the Nox player. I believe that Bluestacks uh, has some fixes by just reinstalling the whole thing. Uh, but as for Nox player, what you need to do is to follow up with this stuff. So when you have the Nox player, you're going to notice that it's either going to not load at all uh, when you start up the game and when you uh, play the game or you try to get to the notification stuff, you will crash and such. So the fix for that is to open up your instance manager, which is the, uh, how do you call it, the triple square icon on the bottom, uh, on the right side of Nox player. Hopefully the thing will show up. There we go. So what it shows over here is um, the instance managers. So you can have multiple uh, instances of Nox player. Um, and as you can see over here, I managed to make one with Android 5, one with Android 4. The default for me was at Android 4. So what I did was I moved it back down. Uh, I made a new one by adding a new emulator and I picked 5.11 as default. So with that done, uh, we have the launcher thing, uh, place it on the top, I renamed it. Uh, but before you do that, don't forget the icon with the arrow up. Uh, you do want to see if it's on the latest version. Uh, so what I did was I updated uh, the 4.4 uh, to 4.42 and then I believe the 5.11 didn't have any updates. But once you're done with that, you will have the options over here. I would recommend closing off Android 4 and then open up the uh, Android 5. Uh, you will also want to click on the arrow over here because it makes a shortcut, as you can see on my desktop. Uh, it will have a shortcut on the desktop and you would like to use this one uh, instead of the Android 4 version because whenever you launch Nox Player, it's always going to be on the 4.42. Uh, and you want to have a shortcut for the Android 5 because that's the requirement now for the CD Opera Omnia. So once you've gotten the Android 5 done, uh, you'll pretty much start over from the beginning. So before you do this, make sure that you're linked or hopefully that you linked your, uh, your account to either Facebook or Google because that's going to be your backup for your uh, account. Now, once you're done with that, uh, you have Android 5 launched, you have the shortcut done, so you don't have to reopen a new instance. Uh, you'll have the Android 5 version, which is going to be shown on the very top, uh, or top left of your uh, player. It shows that it's Android 5 uh, and the current version for it. Uh, so you start up at the, the Nox player, install it as usual. Uh, if you do have no sound, uh, there's another fix for it, so you would go to the uh, you would go to the uh, directory of where you installed Nox Player, and what you do is you right click on the Nox Players uh, or NoxPlayer.exe, and you'll go to the properties, head to the uh, compatibility, and then after that. Uh, at the very bottom, run the, run the program as administrator upon startup. Once you've done that, you can click on apply click or click on OK. Either way, it should work. And then you'll relaunch the uh, Nox player. So that's all I did. I uh, hope there's no issues. Hopefully in the future uh, videos that I'll be uploading, probably going to be the Agrias uh, banner. But other than that, I do hope that this was a minor help for those that are playing on Bluestacks or uh, on Nox player. Um, but for Bluestacks, I believe you only need to reinstall the thing. If it doesn't work, I would suggest you to try out Nox player instead. But yeah, this is the quick fix, I suppose. I, I'm sorry if I'm mumbling way too much. If it's helpful, feel free to leave a like. Uh, this is most likely going to be a uh, video for me to remember and saved up in case I need to, you know, change some few things in the future. So I'll have this saved up and I will we'll have to refer to this uh, whenever I upload the um, changes that happens uh, that crashes the game and whatnot. 
but yeah thank you very much for watching hopefully this will help you there's gonna be a long long batch download unfortunately the android 5 version seems like it's very slow or there's a lot of people downloading at the moment that has the issues but uh yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one